so you are aware of it yes yeah. yes so you are aware of a behavior of a pattern that every once in a while happens and takes over your life in the moment it takes over and if you do you come across a strong-headed woman that you feel like they're not right they may say something to trigger you and all hell breaks loose and you go at it yeah but there is still Lee there is something in you that remains untouched Something in you is aware of this pattern. That awareness doesn't change. That awareness remains the awareness. When this thing happened, and you go through the motions, and later you reflect back, are you more aware of what happened or less aware of what happened? I'm aware, but there's a real boldness in me. Yeah, so you're aware of your boldness. But what does the boldness do to your ability to be aware? Is it ever makes you to be less aware or more aware? Can you be less of I am? I am here or be more of an I am here does it increases your presence of being or decreases your presence of being it does affect it does affect your emotions and activates your mind to judge it but are you more of a presence of a human being or less of a human being I, I'm definitely more because the awareness is always telling me through my body that, and through my conscience and through my heart that is no way benefiting me. I understand that. But there is something there that it comes to that conclusion. Something is making that decision and that judgment that this is not benefiting you. Correct? Yeah. Right. Yet it still happens. And there is nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Yeah. So a behavior takes place that you don't like it, you don't find it conscious, and pulls you and drags you into involvement with another woman, especially women, they pull the trigger on you. But there is still something here, because this is very important, you're in a very good place, my dear. Really, really good place. And right now, what I'm sharing with you is a golden opportunity for you to discover something really golden. So just be here with me. And I know you're clever enough that you can recognize it. Let's put the judgment of how we're investing values into the action and the behavior away. Let's just take that part away. Let's be indifferent to whether this is a conscious behavior or pattern or it's unconscious, whether it's serving you or not serving you. Let's take that, that out of the equation, okay, for a moment. You can come back and go back to that again if you like, but for now, can we play that game? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. All right, so let's take this place. Let's sit here, take your seat. 
that there is no judgment, no one gives this any kind of value, whether you do have this reaction or you don't. And simply observe it from this place without any kind of judgment. As you're observing other things in life, other phenomena, other activities, other things that happen, but you don't have any kind of opinion about it. Now, from this perspective, does it matter what Lee does? No. Beautiful. Stay in this place. Try that for one week. You can always go back if you want to. But try it from that place. Be indifferent to how you're going to react to a strong-headed woman who is not right, she's wrong, yet she's pissing you off. And be indifferent in how you react to her. Maybe you're... Be indifferent in your judgment. And let's see what kind of power that is going to have over you. And if you fail, it's okay. We'll try again. Because existence will keep giving you another opportunity. Okay, how does that sound to you? Can we do that? We can give it a try, certainly. We have nothing to lose. The worst case scenario, you will be where you're at now. Okay, my dear? Thank you. Yeah, we'll check back. We'll check in with each other in the next couple of days. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You're here with us. All right. Okay, Miss Shanti Devi. <laughs> Tell me about your your observation. I found it um, as if my heart was embracing the pain, and it diminished, and it's now between one and zero point five. On the scale of one to ten. So the and pain, the pain, pretty much is gone. Yes. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you have the courage to come out and share with with us. So I appreciate that. We're coming to the end of our event for today. So I want to thank you for your presence. This was the end of the day four, right? It was day four, All right? I'm losing the days. So we have day five tomorrow. We have, we have five more days together. So how exciting. I get to be with you for five more days. I'm so lucky.
I just want you to know you're not the only one who's excited. I am very excited too. <laughs> so the feeling is absolutely mutual. The love is mutual. Equally as strong. And it's being recognized. And thank you for your comments. I appreciate your messages. I appreciate your interacting and thank you for all the love that you're sending us. It's very well received. We feel it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay. Amir wants me <laughs> to remind everybody that uh, this broadcast will be, it's immediately posted on Facebook because we are doing a, a live Facebook, uh, uh, we're doing Facebook Live. And uh, after we, we, we will go through this video and, and uh, clean it up and then email it to you and it goes on my website and also goes on YouTube channel. My channels are Zarathustra 5D, all my channels from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of them are Zarathustra 5D. My website is Zarathustra.tv. So if you just learn how to spell my name, then you can add TV to it and it makes it easy. Um, and also my email is info at Zarathustra.tv. So if you would like to contact us, you're welcome to do that and write to us. Um, we have a, uh, this event is going to go all the way till October 18th, which is this coming Sunday. And every day we're doing it from 10 a.m. till 12 p.m. Los Angeles time. We, I'm also offering a workshop that's going to be in November and that's self-awakening mastery workshop and the workshop is designed to help you to activate the grid and raise your vibrations to a higher frequency and when you do come into a high vibrational frequency field to your surprise you may discover that a lot of your issues begin to disappear. What was a problem in third dimension in this, in this frequency does not exist when you elevate to a higher frequency, especially when you dive into the fifth dimensional vibrational frequency. And the self-awakening mastery workshop is to help you, aid you, and teach you how you can use active meditations and specific techniques to change your frequency. So we'll be doing that and I'll be helping you with it. In addition to that, I have designed a private coaching program. It's called Life Training Program. That so far since its creation and I started it in March, of 2020, so far we had a 100% positive uh, and successful results. Everyone who attended has, who completed the program has succeeded and reached their spiritual goals. And many different things have happened, which I'm very proud of it. I, it's gone beyond my own expectations and it is a private teaching program. It's designed to serve your specific needs, whatever they are. So I will design a program to help you. I will meet once a week. The meeting is about one to one and a half hour and it's supposed to be three months, but it's never three months because we have all these other events in between. So it stretches longer but it's potent, it's powerful, and it works. So if you feel like committing to it, and you feel like you're ready to go for it, and you can do it, 
then contact me and I'll set up a private consultation with you and we'll go through your needs. This would be a tailor-made program specifically for you. And I probably, this is the only time I can offer it in this year, 2020 till probably end of 2021 until hopefully the gates to traveling open up and then I'll go back to my traveling around the world and teaching. So don't take this for granted. Just like a lot of people took the fifth dimensional quantum healing training program for granted and they thought it's going to be done all the time but it had a window and it's not happening now now we have limited it to it once a year in sweden and obviously that is not even happening so there's no guarantee in any of these things there's a moment an opportunity happens and that's the time to jump through it and go for it. So just wanted to share this with you. That's what's available. And I'm here and I'm with you. We do have our academy regularly, the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. That's an event that I'm committed to do pretty much every Wednesday. It's a free event and you're always welcome to join me there. I send you my love. Love and light, blessings to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.